Hello Hot Potters and welcome to another helping of Mr H's Hot Pot. Um, we're going to do a, something a little bit different today. We're going to go on a treasure trail. Now my good lady wife bought about seven of these for me. And uh, the idea is that you come to a village and you go around and you solve clues that's in the booklet. Now they're only about priced at about seven pound. And um, last time it took us all day so I definitely got my money's worth. So we're going to come round Pendle today and have a look at uh, the witches. It's all witch themed. So you can join us and now we'll read out a few clues and you can see if you can solve them. But uh, we're now at Barriford, so let's crack on, shall we? Right, Hot Potters, we're at the First World War Memorial in Barraford, which is where we can find our first clue. So I'll read it out and uh, we'll see if you can solve it. Among the men of Barraford from the First World War, found a person whose surname is the name of a tree that could be used to make a broomstick. Then cross off the suspect with the same name as the person above him. Can you find that from that clue on that war memorial? Okay, Hot Potters, let's go and find another clue, shall we? We're now in St Mary's Churchyard at uh, New Church, which is uh, where, where one of the uh, Pendle Witches is believed to be buried. As you can see behind me, St Mary's Church has the Eye of God in the uh, clock tower. Now, apparently the clock tower is the only original part of this church. The rest of it uh, was built later. Anyway, let's find some more of those clues, shall we? This next clue involves this uh, little shelter here, so use your maths, as this is a bit of a complicated one, so listen very carefully. Count the number of paving stones below it. Subtract the number of pillars, multiply by the squares on the ceiling, and then by the number of benches. The result will eliminate a weapon. Calculators are allowed. So there's 42 paving slabs, 6 pillars, and 20 squares on the ceiling and then two benches you may have to rewind this one to, to get it but uh, your choices I'll make it a bit easier a 1440 1712 1995 1911 1653 or 1862 the numbers should eliminate it I'm now stood at the side of the tomb of the Nutter, the Nutter family. Um, now, it's believed as uh, Alice Nutter, who was hanged for witchcraft, is buried in this tomb. Although some accounts state that she wasn't because obviously this is consecrated ground and they wouldn't have put a convicted witch in there. Although it does have a skull and crossbones motif on the stone, they believe that that was just used to remind on Lucas of their own mortality. Uh, rather grisly. We're now in Downham and it's time for another clue. So here we go. I'll read it carefully and go slow. Count the number of rectangular stones in the arch above the name of this building. Then count the number of consonants in the name. Put the two numbers together to eliminate a weapon. And the numbers that are left are 1712, 1911, 1653 and 1862. So which one is it? Help us out, Hot Potters. We're struggling here. Here's a little fact about the village of Downham. It's part of the Asherton Estate, owned by Lord and Lady Clitheroe. The owners do not allow overhead electricity lines, aerials or satellite dishes, making the village a popular location for filming period dramas. What's wrong with that statement? We're now in the village of Barla, 
after uh, leaving Pendle. Unfortunately, we've not been able to share with you any further clues as they wouldn't really work on camera. There's not many maths-related type uh, questions. So this is it. We've come to the end. Uh, we think we've solved it, although we went a little bit wrong at uh, one of the other villages in a churchyard. We had to look for a name on a gravestone, and uh, we don't think we've found it. We were sort of running around like Eli Wallach and uh, Clint Eastwood in The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, that scene around the cemetery looking for Arch Stanton. Anyway, I'm rambling, so... I will recommend these once again, they are very good, uh, treasure trails, like I said the £6 for one and it takes you all day basically, um, especially if you break it up and you have a little bit of a din dinner in the meantime. Anyway I'm going to leave it there and uh, bid you farewell until the next time when we're out and about once again, so until then, bye bye for now.